Hey, what's up guys, KSKRI here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 11 beta to the iOS 10 without losing any information or data. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, so on your Mac, so open the Safari or your Windows, open the Chrome and go to this website called the IPSW.me. So you will find the link in the description down below of this video. So once you open this website, you're going to be see it like this. So go ahead and select your iPhone or iPad or iPod, whatever it might be. So in our case, we're going to go ahead and select the iPhone. So we'll be using an iPhone 6 for demonstration purpose of this video. So go ahead and select or choose your device from the listing. I'm going to select the iPhone 6. Once you select your phone, so it's going to be show you all of the available firmwares in green color. So the green color firmwares are the Apple signed firmwares. That means Apple is still signing that we're going to be uh, downgrade uh, back to those uh, updates using the iTunes. So I strongly recommend go ahead and download the iOS 10.3.1. So because if you're sort of the person who wants to jailbreak, Break. as we all know that the iOS 10.3.1 the jailbreak is on the way so go ahead and um, if you wanted to so uh, once it's done and go ahead and place it on somewhere on your desktop so back to the camera view so this is the iPhone 6 running on the iOS 11 beta so don't worry so the process will not going to be uh, remove any information or data so all you can do is make sure that your iPhone has a sufficient amount of the battery. So once you've done that, so go ahead and take off your USB cable from your PC or Mac and connect to your iPhone. So go ahead and open the iTunes on your Mac or Windows. So once you open uh, the iTunes, we're going to be asked you to grant the permission. At the same time, on the iPhone, you're going to see the prompt. Go ahead and click on the uh, trust the computer so that the iTunes will access your iPhone. So at the same time, on your iTunes, now go ahead and click on continue. So once you click on continue so the iTunes will gonna start detecting your iPhone and you're gonna see that small iPhone logo over there click on that so once you click on that and it's gonna be show you your iPhone uh, details so as you can see it's running on the iOS 11 so at this stage if you still want to a uh, backup uh, your iPhone using the iTunes you can also do that by selecting the backup button so now once you've done that so now on your Mac so you need to hold alt uh, on your windows you need to hold a shift and then click on the uh, check for update once you click on the check for update it's going to be uh, ask you to look for the file so which is the IPSW file that we just downloaded so in my case it's in the desktop so go ahead and navigate for that file and then click on open once you click on open it's going to be ask you to uh, uh, click on the update so go ahead and click on the update so in my case as you can see it's extracting the software also in my case, actually, I got a, some of the messages like apply the changes. So go ahead and click on the apply these changes. Also, the iTunes is actually syncing my iPhone in the background. So I'm going to be a forced liquid that by clicking on the update button. So go ahead and click on the update. And if you see this message in your case. So after that, if your iPhone has an app password or uh, touch ID is set up, so iTunes will going to be ask you uh, to type the passcode by prompting on your iPhone. So go ahead and type the passcode on your iPhone. Once you type it successfully, the iTunes will going to be start uh, flashing the iOS 10 framework. So now sit back and have a cup of coffee and uh, don't interrupt your device until it boot into the iOS 10. So once it's done, I will be right back with you guys. All right, so as you can see, it's almost uh, done. So as you can see, it's still uh, loading uh, progress bar over there. So once you see this message or a white screen, so go ahead and take off your USB cable, and then we need to set an iPhone. So go ahead, I'm gonna be bypass, I'm gonna be fast forward by this, and uh, yeah. All right, so after that, it will gonna be ask you to 
uh, I activate your iPhone using the iCloud account go ahead and do that so that's about it and as you can see that we have successfully downgraded our iPhone from iOS 11 beta to the iOS 10 so that's about it and thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel I will see you in my next video until then bye bye now